What's up guys? In this video we drown Spudnik. So we're back to working on Sputnik. Uh, it's really, really muddy from the last time we kind of did the same exact thing. Um, but as you saw, I'll show you some of the clips if you didn't see the video. But these are not just cutting it. Jason, can you get the other colors? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's, here's a shot of it. Super, super muddy. I'm sure it'll be way worse once we're done because I'll put the clips in right now. Some 21 inch V treads from Go Power Sports should eliminate that problem. So, the first thing we're gonna do though is pressure wash this thing off. I do not wanna work on it in the current state it's in. All right, so we got one air gun and two tires and two of us, so we're gonna see who's the better pit crew person. <laughs> I'm gonna put the times in the corner. Jason's gonna go first. All right, on go. Three, two, one, go. Stop. All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna beat that though. All right, All right now it's Daniel's turn. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Alright, so we got some new like Chevron style tires and we need to mount them. So as the winner, Daniel, you get to put these on. What? Okay, this sucks. Uh, Lake's telling us that Walmart charges like $10 a tire to get ATV tires replaced, so. We'll just do that, hopefully. My favorite song. <laughs> so we got some tires from Walmart. Or no, we got the tires from Go Power Sports and Walmart mounted. It was $20 for both of them. And new valve stems. And new valve stems, for like a buck. And they did it quickly too, so. Yeah. Not a bad deal. Yeah, I recommend it if you got $20 to spend and you don't feel like breaking every knuckle on your hands. All right, so we just put it on the other side. Now we're getting this one bolted up. Okay, so the starter, we had it outside, so it like... It's yeah, seized. It, it's completely seized. I got it to work once today, but it like barely ever works. So a uh, company called Metal Rescue sent us this little uh, thing of rust remover bath, so we're just gonna see if this will help us just pour this in here. We put a tarp over this part of it now, so this won't happen again, but hopefully we can fix it. Easily safe in here. We're in the middle of nowhere, driving uh, Sputnik. Yeah. Should be pretty fun. The rust remover in there, and it's actually helped a ton, so let's see if it starts. <laughs> So I'm just following these clowns. We got like some dude like shooting some arrows or something, but not that big of a deal. It's only uh, taking up a little space. So we got that whole area back there. You'll see what it is later, but it's gonna be pretty fun.
Okay, Daniel. All right. Woo. I am just gonna record the GoPro hook to my helmet. Oh, by the way, this is a cart that is, you'll see later, but just so we like don't have 6,000 builds going at the same time, we're not gonna show this yet, but don't worry, it's not like for TV or anything, you'll see everything. Sputnik's all the way over there. What I found, with sorry, this is kinda hard, I'm holding the helmet. What I found with driving Sputnik is that you can literally, as long as you let the torque converter do its thing, sorry, I'm trying to walk through all this mud here. As long as you let the torque converter do its thing, you don't have to floor it to get through this mud now with the V-treads. It literally just like, like 2000 RPM, just boom, like bogging through everything. It's definitely like more of a rock crawler now, which is good. That will save belts and that'll save the torque converter and just less wear on everything. You can see Spud's chilling over there. At one point, the wheels turned completely sideways and it was just plowing through. It was so ridiculous. I have no idea what I look like right now because uh, I just went through about a quarter mile of that. Send it. Oh my God. Dude, there are like big this. fish over there. Oh, there goes nothing! Okay, go, yeah, turn it a little bit. Dang, those last ones. Oh! oh. Uh. <laughs> Alright, the steering kind of let me down. Yeah. But we got down here. And this is off. This thing's kind of a hoopty, I'm not going to lie, but... Yeah. I mean, we got this frame for 50 bucks originally, so... <laughs> It's kind of inherently flawed, but... Let's drive it through some water. Sure. <laughs> okay. At least we get to... What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. Just probably just go. <laughs> yeah, before I can think about it too much. I'm just going to go slow and tell me if snorkel's getting close. It won't. Okay. Daniel, the engine's not even close to the water. He's going in though. <laughs> I want to see the entire thing underwater.
Wow. <laughs> Dude. Butt Nick is underwater. Thumbnail? The whole, the whole ignition is, it, let's see if it starts. It's the fan sucking up water. All right, well, I think we're gonna try to turn around and get her out of this, but I don't know if, I mean, the snorkel definitely saved this engine. If the air filter was right here, maybe toast. Sorry guys, we didn't get to bring it up to here in water, but I think other stuff goes bad before that does. Yep. And then your engine would probably just shut off and start sucking up water from somewhere, but I mean, it's, it's a little chilly. Yep. It'll go in the water, they said. It was pretty, it, was, it looked fine. cool. It'll be fun, you know? <laughs> Dude, you're never gonna get to do this again. Yeah, oh no, it's gonna be the last time we do this, guys. Shoot, I wanna see more. All right, I'm gonna see if we can get out of this at all, or if it even starts. You know, I'm gonna flip the choke. Hey! Come on! Yeah, so use the I choke. I can't alive! Use the choke if your engine is cold or you're underwater. Either, uh, either situation. Yep. All right, I'm gonna get her out of the water a little bit more. Like it's choked. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh, she does not like that. Yeah, it's definitely a problem. Well, let it warm up a little bit. I just can't put my finger on it. I just, there's no explanation why it wouldn't run well. People always comment about our shoes. <laughs> this is why, guys. <laughs> yep, that's uh, pretty good, Daniel. Pour this to dinner. Look at this. Woo! Look at that. Woo! Yeah. Belts don't really like to get wet on like any torque converter. So I'm just gonna get this thing probably positioned right here. Let it dry off pretty nicely. And we're just gonna send it up this hill. I mean, nice I mean we gotta we gotta top this, right? Okay, we had to bring out the big guns. But we're working. How do we get down here? Yeah, I know. It looks so much worse getting up. Okay. Wait, uh, it's gonna come back down. Alright. Matt towing spud. <laughs> that was like death. Yeah, we're fine though. Oh. Well. This is not the way I imagined leaving here. That thing broke down too. So we might be triple daisy taint chain towing to safety. Was really fun not gonna lie but I'm kind of upset we didn't get that the main purpose of this video was testing the V-treads 
and we kind of got stupid and drove it in the water before that could have happened but stay tuned for a video of trying to resurrect this thing because right now she don't want to run so I mean cool I suppose it was fun this thing rips stay tuned for this all right guys thanks for watching uh, I wish we could end it driving away into the sunset but it doesn't want to start right now like at all like, well it starts and it'll run kind of but it keeps backfiring out of the intake and shutting off I don't think we hydro locked it at all. like if no. anything's messed up it could be ignition I don't know or it's just like really angry right now and it doesn't want to start but we'll, we've been cranking over for the last 20 minutes and we can't get anything out of it we can just get it to sputter and then it backfires out of the intake and dies so I mean it was fun I'll tell you that much ripping it in the water like it kept going in the water it was a tank if the water like stayed at that depth and we could have gone for a really long time but thank you go power sports for the V tread tires they work really well in the mud like the only problem is this thing's an open diff so it'll just spin with one wheel for ages but I mean if you have if it hooks up both maybe we'll weld the diff I don't know that'd be a fun little video comment what you think we should do comment what you think's wrong with this Thank you, Go Power Sports. <laughs> Thanks for watching.